fight Time to see what life takes me So I roll the dice Look up to no one else But yeah, I was shy I got real power Hebrew is a lie Focus That's right, bro You know, this is the word That's right, preach the word too So this information that you're getting up here, brother yeah, right, right, The brother brought out So these things, at one point in time These things that we already knew But again, I mm -hmm. you went over through slavery, colonization Rape, robbery, murder, oppression We end up losing these things but through the grace of the Most High God, you're able to receive that which was lost. Right. Let's get that in uh, Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. Uh. And mind you, brother, it's you know, hundreds of people that walk past constantly. Right. It's only you up here. Right. Are you know, you know, back then, back in the intro, everywhere with a food was lost. Right. And we had our ancient uh, homeland. Right. Food. Brother even brought up the garments and the clothing that we used to wear. Now we got here in America, we forget where we come from. Right. We got to be retold our history because America not going to do it. At all. The church system, they not going to do it. Right. So, again, the Most High has blessed certain men to have the knowledge to come out and to teach it. And like the brothers been saying all night, reach one, teach one. Or, yeah, teach one, reach one. Or vice versa. Nevertheless, brother, this information that you get in, you want to make sure that you hold it tight, man. So let's bring this up, Colossians. Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. Bring it out. Out. Even the mystery which has been hid from ages. And the reason it's called a mystery because the average so-called black man don't know that. Right. He's still calling himself black. Right. Name one person on the earth that's actually the color of my jacket. Wow. On my sword. Everyone is brown last time I checked. Besides, right. you know, the so-called white man. Right. The East Indian man, brown skin. Like the Arab man, brown skin. African man, brown skin. Right. Every nation that you see has some type of form of melody. Even Chinese people, the, uh, the, the, what's it called? the Philippines, right. they're all brown skin. But for some reason, when it comes to us, we're black. And that's what the average Joe, as you see the brother called him up, that's what the average Joe still calls himself black. Right, exactly. Not even knowing that he come from the same sea line that King David come from. Right. Where Christ come from. Right. right. That these different men in the Bible, that you, you literally descend from these men in the Bible, and that's the major secret that's been kept up. Right. Because think about it, brother. We're the best at everything, right? Mm. So-called black people. Sports, singing, entertainment. Adventure. Inventions. Right. All of that from That's one thing that they have been standing to They took all that from us. Yeah, bro. Now what, now, what other race was able to accomplish the things that we accomplished while even being a slave and oppressed and doing all history? No other race. They can't do it. They, they can't. But, again, the Lord has said from the foundation that this was a history that's been made for ages. Right. And from generations, right. but now is made manifest to his saints. But now is made manifest to his saints in the last times. You're mm. the saint, brother. That's right. We the saints. That's right. We right. the sanctified ones from the Most High, and this information is finally being made manifest where in the last days. Right. So all this information you get, him, brother, you don't want to make, you don't want to uh, have it come in one day, go the other, and you forget everything you learned. Right. Uh, yeah. You know how many times we told people that they were Israelites? You know, we personally from Chicago. You know how many times we've seen people, you know, we gave them the word, they understood it. We've seen them again probably a month later, a year later. We asked them what they learned. They said nothing. No increase. Right, right. No fruits. Right. Give me that in uh, Mark chapter 4 and start at verse 1. Before we got certain people, whether they learn this information, they understand it, they Israelites. God's chosen people, his favorite people. Then they just let it just go out their head. They let sin take away the word. Right. With this truth, well, you want to make sure that you hold on tight to it. It's plenty, hey, the most I could have had any of us hear this word and just, you know, not take heed to it. Right. You actually taking heed, that's how we know you're different, brother. Right, that's a fact. Because again, the average Joe, he's not taking Mental heed. Mind. At all. Here it is, we teaching that the so-called black and Hispanic man are God's chosen people. The best people ever created according to the Bible, history, prophecy, archaeology, and we only got one brother up here. Right, wow. And just imagine how bugged out of a, a mentality that our people are going to be, you know, for that specific, uh, for that curse. Yeah. So bring this up, Matthew, or Mark chapter 4. Mark chapter 4 and verse 1, 4. Yes, that was Verse 4, and it came to pass, as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. Start at verse 2. Come on, verse 2. Right. And he taught them many things by parables. This is Christ. Christ, he's talking to the uh, Israelites. Mm -hmm. He taught them many things by parables. So he's speaking in, a, uh, in like a code. So this is like a code that he's about to bring out, letting you know. 
that some people they're gonna be able to crack the code and understand. Right. Some people is not made for them to understand. Right. So let's read this code. Anyway. And said unto them in his doctrine, hearken, behold, there went out a sower to sow. Right. And it came to pass as he sowed, some fell by the wayside, and the fowls of the air came and devoured it up. So the sower is Christ. And also known as the men of the Lord as well. These sowers, they came out, they went into the field, they went into the high places, the cities. They sowing his word, planting out seeds. Give me first Corinthians Planting seeds, hoping that it waters for us to grow and sprout until this understanding. That's what Christ is saying. So as these seeds get a planted, the sower planting these seeds, we don't. And some fell on stony ground where it had not much earth. And some seeds that we plant, I'm pretty sure you probably planted like a flower or some type of fruit before. Or with my grandpa. Yeah, yeah. tomatoes, oaks, strawberries. Yeah, yeah. I'm about five. I'm woke, bro. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it all together. Yeah. I'm to wrap my head around. Yeah. And, and, so, and so let me back off the point. When you sow, when you plant in those gardens, that's every single seed sprout up. Man. No, every seed don't sprout up. It's like this. It's like it's the same thing with this tree. Everyone getting the word, but not everyone gonna get that increase. Again, we done talked to <laughs> countless of people. There's only one brother up here. Right. So you getting that word, that means it's water, it's water. Your spirit's getting water right now. Alright, everyone's spirit, they don't get that water. You plant that seed it may fall upon a rock, stony ground. If I plant a seed right here, it's not gonna grow. No right. soil, no depth of earth, no increase, right. no fertilization, nothing. It's not gonna grow. That's how these people are. But you, brother, you getting put in that good soil. Right. In that good soil, you want to make sure that that water that you're getting with this word is making sure you're nourished and that you're growing up in this thing for the spiritual life. You know what? And immediately it sprang up, right. but it had no depth of earth. Right. But when the sun was up, it was scorched. And because it had no root, it withered away. So again, some people, they even understand. They come into this thing and they grow. Then time coming, they start withering away. They fall away real slowly. Wow, yeah. That's another type of Israelite. So again, remember, we Israelites. Right. Every Israelite never made it. You ever heard about Moses in you know, the wilderness, 40 years in the wilderness? Yeah, so when we got the river out of Egypt, our ancestors, we passed through the wilderness. Everyone didn't make it out the wilderness. Right. Only two people made it out. Okay. Only two people got that real living water to where they was pleased in the eyes of the Most High. They actually made it out that wilderness. Followed with a whole new generation that came in after. Them. So you got certain men, they hear this word, and they end up falling away slowly by the wayside. Again, with this truth, brother, we want to make sure you never fall away. Hold that. I'm falling away. All you're telling me, I got to Get the word. You got to follow the commandments. It's the simplest plan. It's plan. It's not a hard thing to do. Give me Matthew chapter 19. I'm sure you can drop that. Matthew 19. This truth is actually real easy. The yeah. commandments is real easy, bro. Yeah, they are. See, a lot of people, they look at, you know, they look at the Christian church, and the church tell them you can't keep all the God's commandments. It's impossible. You can't do this, you can't do that. Right. According to the Bible, brother, you can do all things through Christ. And one of the things that Christ commanded was actually keep the commandments, and that's the only way you can actually enter into life. Right. Faith and a commandment. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 19, and verse 16. Bring it out. And behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what good things shall I do? That I may have eternal life. So this man is coming to Christ and asking, how do I get eternal life? Beautiful question. How do I get eternal life? Dominion, reigning over the nations. How do I reign forever with my brothers in union? That's the thing you have. He said, how do I get this money? And he said unto him, why callest thou me good? Right. There is none good but one. Right. That is God. Right. But if thou wilt enter into life. But if you want the kingdom of heaven, if you want to be a real king, not be walking on concrete, but walking gold. Have your garments on. Ruling with your brothers. If you really want this life, you know what? Keep the commandments. The Lord say, keep, keep the, the commandments. commandments. That's, is that simple? Keep the commandments. You know what? He saith unto him, which Yahweh shall say, thou shalt not do no murder. Right. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Right. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother, right? And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. It's all simple things. It's called the commandments of the Most High God. So all the commandments the Lord commanded the Israelites to keep. Can we do the one between the verse one? And 
Exodus 24 and verse number 6. Deuteronomy. Oh, oh. Before, before we read this, brother, the reason why we came into slavery, let's say someone asked you, we got chosen people. We're the best and we're supposed to be up above all nations. Why are we in slavery? If someone asked you that, what would you say? Mm, good question. Yeah, if someone, if you, let's say you tell someone, okay, I found out I'm an Israelite and God's chosen people, they ask you, okay, well, if you God's chosen people, then why are you going to sleep? What answer would you ask? Question. We really God's chosen people then. That's slave real slave ships out there. Yeah. Now the babies, your baby sister, your baby cousin, baby brother getting fat, that's alligator baby. Yeah. We really God's chosen wow. people. Why is this Jim Crow era within our history? Why wow. is it why, why you got something called the lynching of the Mexicans in the 1800s? So we right. really God's chosen people. Why did these but why did these uh, atrocities befall us? But the reason is because we broke God's commandments. Again, all we give you is the simple law of God. Right. He gave to Moses, he gave to us. All right. This world is really going to teach you and form your mind to break God's commandments. Like right. the brother broke down, today's the Sabbath day. On the Sabbath day, there's no work, no buying, no selling, no man, no work. All right, but yet you got every damn store possible open right, right now on right. Sabbath days. They got That's the all the lights to bring you in and reel you in right. so you can just commit sin. Right. So again, brother, if we can feed you tonight, it's all the God's commandments. Just straight milk. Because by that milk, that's how you go to like a newborn babe. Right. You gotta get that milk, the simple commandments, you gotta get it embedded in your mind that this is actually that this actually is a history. So bring us up. This is the book of Deuteronomy. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 1. Bring it out. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this was Moses talking to our ancestors. If we hearken and listen to God, and if we would have actually kept his commandments and listened to him, to observe and to do all his commandments, right. which I command thee this day, that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. Now, isn't that a good deal? That, to me, that's like a very yeah. good deal. Yeah, for real. If we keep God's commandments, no adultery, no killing your brother, no smoking, no getting drunk. If you just do these simple things, I'm going to set you above high above all nations of the earth. I'm pretty sure you heard about King David, right? You know, King David had slaves. King David was a so-called black man. He was above all nations. That's right, King. You had a yeah. black man at once upon a time that was ruling things. Yeah. Running half the nations in order. Right. Then he passed it down to his son Solomon. Right. Forty years half the nations in order. Right. Had him in slavery, building right. up God's temple, building up his own house. At once upon a time, the black this is again this is black history. Right. The black man actually had dominion over his uh his area at one point in time. Now look at us. Right. In a whole other side of the world. Right. Slavery, right. working for a dime. Teach up. So God said, when we kept these commandments, He would bless the people of our people. Dave, He kept the commandments. I guess when we kept the commandments, we was in our homeland. It's rule. You know. Verse forty-four. Right. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Yeah. So the Lord said, He shall lend to us. Actually, start at verse fifteen. Verse fifteen. Right. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So remember, first we read, if we keep the commandments, we're going to be above all. Right. Now we say, if we don't hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Go on. To observe to do all his commandments. And we don't keep the commandments. Go on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day. Right. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now all these curses are going to come upon us and overtake us. Right. You got something called generational curses. Right. All right, your grandmother talking about generational curses. Your uncle, he talking about generational curses. Right. How do you break those? Boy, that's, that's a beautiful question. Beautiful question. Read verse one again. Verse one. Right. I know I got a curse on me. How do I be sure that I, right. I don't have to go through whatever it might be? And believe it or not, brother, these curses, they've been upon us for, you know, since the foundation. And the curses actually right. read, read, um, mentioned them in the Bible. We're going to read some curses. Because God said these curses will only happen to his chosen people. Right. And he's going to come to find out that that's us. Nevertheless, you said how do we break it? We're going to read verse 1. 
verse 1. Right? And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If we listen to God, to observe and to do all his commandments, right. which I command thee this day, right. that the Lord thy God will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. If that's it, if we keep God's commandments as a nation of people, right. the curses are broken. Right. But it's not an individual thing. You can't say, yeah, it's not an individual thing. But most of he deal with unity. It's like it's like uh, sports. All right, let's say you have yeah. practice running suicides. Yeah. It's a team thing. Right. One person mess up at practice, everyone got to do suicide. Right. All right. It's not just all right. You messed up. You do that. You go. You go on your side. And you knock that up. No. One man mess up. We all mess up. Right. Right. Like they did on Coach Carter when all of them said, "I run." Right. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yep. Right. They even do that in football. One man, you know, hop off sides. The whole team get moved back. Not just the one that got, you know, the, uh, that kind of went off. So the most they so, do is the same thing. Judge us as a nation. We went in captivity as a people. We're right. gonna come out as a people. Right. You had Ezekiel. Ezekiel was a very, very, very righteous one fire man for the Lord. Right. Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezra, Nehemiah. These are your ancestors that were righteous men. They was all a slave. Why? Because their people, our people, was going to hell off. They were telling them, don't do A, B, and C. Yeah. They wanted to do A, B, and C, and for that, all of them got, all of them got, uh, you know, that punishment. Right. So, brother, this should even push you even more to keep God's commandments. Because not only do you got to keep them, but you got brothers that's all around here, and more brothers that's going to help you stay on that path. That's right. So, this is me, H, I need to have This is the same. King James. 16, 11, King James. Okay, here I come. Give me a second. Okay. All right. I'm gonna call you back. I'm, I'm over. Right. <laughs> and this one of the curses that will fail our people from breaking God's command. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 4, and verse 44. Bring it out. He shall lend to thee, and thou shalt not lend to him. Right. And he shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. And that's what happened. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. Who is the he? The he is the so-called white man of other nations. Right. Teach on. He's supposed to be. Again from the side. Verse 44. Right. He shall lend to thee, right. and thou shalt not lend to him. Right. He shall be the head. He shall be the head. You know what? And thou shalt be the tail. When you are the head of something, you're over it. Right. Or you have dominion over it. They got right. a saying, wherever the head falls, the body will follow. Oh, right. So if you're, the head is the main factor, it's the main, uh, it's the what I'm looking for. It's, it's the so-called control system. Right. The Lord said at one point in time, we were the head. But through the curses and us breaking God's commandments, it said, now he shall be the head and thou shalt be the tail. And once upon a time, again, we was the head, Yasharala, Israel. But now he's the head and now we're at the bottom of society. Mm. That's what it looked like when you the tail. You got slave ships. Imagine you got five so-called white men, five feet, four inches, glasses, scrawny right. with a king, right. 96 years old. The other one, probably damn 64 years old. And he got them 50, then a hundred so-called black men in capital chains. Wow. Five so-called white men got a damn a hundred so-called black men in chains bound up in a slave ship. That's what it that's what it looked like to where the white race is the head and the so-called black man and it's gonna be the tip. Teach us right. Wake him up, uh. And again, brother, at once upon a time we had the nations of slavery. Give me that a second Samuel 8 and verse 16. And the whole goal is for us to get back to that state that we was at before. Right. You got a, you got a uh, saying, they say history, it, it, it repeat itself. Right. At once upon a time, we was ruled. And according to that, that saying, we must rule again because history must repeat itself. But the only way it will repeat itself is if God's chosen people, the Israelites, come back to keeping his commandments right. as a people. Let's read this. Second Samuel chapter 8, verse 17. Here we go. 16. So like your verse 16. Mind you, but this book is not a book of religion. It's not a book of fairy tales. At all. This is literally black history book. Black uh, history. You got a book called First Kings, Second Kings. Right. What do you think that book is going into? 
Israelites. Right. Not just right. any Israelites, right. but Israelites that was kings. Right. You got a whole book going into your kings called First Kings, Second Kings. Then you, after that, you got Chronicles going into the Chronicles of your kings. Right. And before that, you got First and Second Samuel going into the judges and then switching over to that rulership to them becoming kings. Mm. Then before that, you got the book of Judges right. going into the judges that ruled over Israel at certain times. Right. So your whole history, you was judges, then kings, had scribes writing things out, you was in castles and mansions, right. had multiple houses. Right. And all that history is written up in the Bible. That's why they don't read the Bible in school anymore. Right. Everybody take religion out. It's not, not even religion, they took out black history. That's right. Right. That's right. Oh, and man. remember, brother, look, and so let me back off that point. Why do you think they only feed you uh, Martin Luther King, right. Rosa Parks, right. and Malcolm X for black history? Right. Harriet Tubman. Yeah, Harriet Tubman. Right. And how she did uh, how she wanted to descend from the blood. Right. Rosa Parks. Right. Tell me all the all the history we got. Harriet Tubman and Rosa Parks and how she bullied a white man to get the front seat. That's the best we got. And how the brother he made uh, peanut butter. Right, made? right, right, right. George, uh, George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver. George Washington Carver. 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 Right. You telling right. me out of all the history we got. Yeah, Negroes and peanut butter, <laughs> black women in the front of the bus, right. and us in slavery. What up? The perms. Yeah, the perms. Right, right, right. And then they, they even came out and said that she had a husband with a car. Right. So she didn't even have to, you know, go She didn't even have to be on the bus. She had a car. So, you know, I, this is this is why we got to go back to the Bible. Just to, again, this is real history. Yeah. Right. It's not that black history. February, it's only 28 days. Right. Yeah, that's so easy. I, I definitely don't like that. Yeah, that, that's all. That's all. Out of the shortest month of the year, <laughs> they right. these niggas black. Say, hurry. Give them this. They're going to give them the same thing every year. Yeah. And again, but that's how you know that we're more than just, you know, Rosa Parks. This whole book is literally so called Black and Hispanic Man. I wrote this, we scribed it out, and preserved it for you and us to the day. That's right. So let's read the history of this book. This is 2 Samuel chapter 8 and verse 16. And Joab, the son of Zeruiah, was over the host. And Jehoshaphat, the son of Elihu, was recorder. And Zadok, the son of Ahitub, and Ahimelech, the son of Abathar, were the priests. Verse 14. And he put garrisons in Edom. This is David. David, he actually put garrisons in Edom. A garrison is like a, it's a, it's a place where you bound up a bunch right, of people. Right, Like a right, prison. Right. Like a concentration camp. You see on his son, Edom, right? What does that say? So-called white man. Everyone got a biblical nationality. The so-called black and Hispanic man going back to the Israelites according to history. White man, he go back to the Idumeans, the Greeks, which go back right. to the Edomites. So forth and so on, got Ishmael, they go back to the Arabs. And as we just read, King David had Edom. And what? Read that again, verse 14. Con, verse 14. And he put garrisons in Edom. He put concentration camps in the right. land of Edom. Right. Why'd he do that? Because he was running over them. Right. You know? Salakia. Throughout out all Edom, he put he garrisons in all they of Edom. And all they of Edom became David's servants. So at once upon a time, we had servants. We right. had servants at once upon a time. That's right. Are you, it was at once upon a time where you wasn't the servant, but you had the servant. Wow. Right. Probably had five servants, they took care of this crib. Right, you had seven servants, they took care of this crib. Right. You play out your concubines, they took right. care of the, you know, the outback, whatever they did back then. Right. Are you rolling your big castle, your big castle over here? Right. So you had servants at one point in time. Right. But you being an Israelite brother, this is the history that they never gonna show you. Right. Because as we just read, if the so-called black man come back to his heritage as a people, we're going to become kings again. Right. Give me yeah. the classic, 2 Edges, chapter 6. Bring it out, bring it out. Edges, 6, verse 9. And again, brother, keep in mind, we're the Israelites, so-called white man is the Edomite. That's Teacher? Be, the Edomite. You're going to need to know that for this verse. It's the book of 2 Edges, chapter 6, and verse 9. Bring, bring it out. out. For Esau is the end of the world. So Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, God said out the Bible right. that he will be the end of the world, the last ruling power before Christ comes back. Esau is the end of this world, and what else? And Jacob, and Jacob, whose name was Israel, is what? It's the beginning of it that followed. And we're the next in line, the beginning of it that followed. Wow. 
All right, have you ever seen the kingdom get taken down by sweet talks? By marching and protesting? You've never point. seen a kingdom like the Greeks or the Romans. There was this big uh, nation at once point in time. Was it just marching and they said, okay, y'all marched in love, let's get y'all the kingdom? No justice. That didn't happen. Yeah, no justice, no peace. Free, free uh, Palestine. They think they got this free Palestine thing going on. Right. Like they, like that, like they in prison. Right. So you got all these. See, the nations are soft now. When we soft as we want to march, we want to do all these things. Right. Real reparation comes through war. Real vengeance. Real uh, coming back into power and rulership that comes through war. Right. right. So I want. So it's gonna come a point in time, brother. Where God is gonna send His Son Christ to raise up the Israelites to bring us out of this place, what you call future prophecy. That's right. And the church will never teach you that. It's going to come up on the time, in the, uh, Revelation chapter 2 and verse number, uh, no, uh, Revelation 10 and verse 10. Revelation 10 and verse number 10. God is going to raise up the elect of the Israelites and bring us into our home. Right. Let's read. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 10. Bring it out. Oh. They, they would never read this in the church. They would never bring this out in the school system. This At is all. only information that you get straight from the Bible. It's pure words. Only that's why we that's why we inform our people to read for themselves. Right. Don't go to the church and they read two verses. God loves everyone. John 3 16. Mm. And they read uh, Romans 2 and 10. Right. Like the Jews and the Gentiles. Then they sing, they play the music, and they play the harp. Then they collect your money afterwards. Then right. Go home feeling Man. good with no understanding. Mm. So the Lord commanded you to actually read for yourself to find out the truth. We're going to read about this truth. Let's read this. This is Revelation chapter 10, verse 10. Look it out. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand right. and ate it up. And it was in my mouth, sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said unto me, Thou must prophesy again before. So again, bro, it's gonna come a time where God is gonna actually raise up an army. Right. Who is the army? You can bring it up. The army is actually these people on this side. It's like right. the people on this side. All right, let's read. Let's read Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 10. Right. Oh. So I prophesied as he commanded me. Right. And the breath came up to them and they lived. Right now, Ezekiel was saying he prophesied to a certain race of people. The breath came unto them and they lived. Before they was living, they was dead. We right. look at the state of our people. One nation of people is at a dead estate. Mm. Drunk out, drunk at the bus stop. Mm. All right, impoverished in the hoods and the ghettos. Killing each other, then glorifying killing each other. Mm, right. That's what you call a dead state. That's our people. Right. So Ezekiel was saying he's prophesying to our people that the breath of life comes into them. What is that breath of life? That's this truth. That's the truth. Right. That word is going to come in you and you're going to live. Read on. And stood up upon their feet. Right. An exceeding great army. Lord say. An, an exceeding, exceeding great, great army. army. Two M army. An exceeding great, great army. army. Lord is gonna raise up an exceeding great army. Right. This right here is a very small glimpse of what the Lord is really coming with that exceeding right. great army. That's only a couple brothers. Right. The Lord is gonna raise up one third of the nation of Israel and have an elect 144,000 out there one third to rule the nation of Israel. That's right. Right. Again, brother, history will repeat itself. Right. And we know the Bible in our life. So this, that, that means it's got to come to pass. Yeah. You want to be a part of this prophecy, bro. You don't want to be on the other end of the prophecy where you get destroyed. Right. So you got two lots. Or you got the lots where you can be saved and overcome. Or you got the lot to be destroyed. We don't want to be destroyed. We don't want you to be destroyed. Right? Which is why we coming out here and telling our people, come back to the Lord before it's too late. Right. And you get in this word, brother, that shows a very high level of humility and humbleness that you have. Because again, a lot of people, they hear this word, they cuss us out, they want to fight us, right. telling you God's chosen people. Right. Yeah. I, I talked to a couple of guys before when she was telling me. I ain't seen y'all. I ain't seen nobody other than like a week. I think I'm like, I'm just going to say, 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 I'
They say, shut up. Yes, right. it is. Right. You tell them, brother, bring out the verses. Bring out 20 precepts on how God only loves the so-called black and Hispanic men. They say, I'm going to do what I want to do. Dang. They, 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 brother, if you, was, if you was out here, you will hear crazy things. Nevertheless, God is going to raise up an army. You want to be a part of that army. Right. right. All right. And we want to be a part of that army. Right. Right. All right. Give me that in Revelation chapter 7. I believe that's verse number 4. Revelation chapter 7 and verse 4. And these are, and these are prophecies. Give me Psalms 58 and verse number 10. These are promises that God has promised to his people. I mean, you, you look at the oppression, you think well, this is all we have to slavery? All we have is Jim Crow, you said what? I don't know what to think. I can't even imagine seeing that, brother. Yeah, I'm sure. I'd have been to other places, seeing museums and all of that. I can't imagine seeing the little movies, and I can't imagine seeing something like that. Those house piled up on top of each other. Going up, I can't imagine real life just because of the color of my skin. Like, Me knowing myself, bro, and I'm a regular person. I ain't telling you guys, Iron Man, none of that. Mm. Them trying to do that to us now, they're, they're stupid. Yeah. Because I couldn't, you know, ain't no way you finna have me. Mm. Ain't no way. Mm. You finna, ain't, there's no way. There's no way. Remember, you said it's because the color of our skin. Remember, everyone got the same skin color. So it's not the color of your skin, it's who you descend from that really make them feel like that. Right. You descend from God's chosen people. Right. Again, they they know our history. We don't know our history. They they know that. Once so that's the real root of what you saying. That yeah. Because of our skin, it was because they know. Who yeah. They know who we are. They know. Who we are. They know. And we had we had camp last week. Remember we had camp last week. The uh, Ishmaelite. We had an Ishmaelite. We had a uh, Arab man. He came up to camp. He was like, Yeah, y'all the real Jews. Wow. You know, so even these other races know that we the real Jews, and that one the first time. Wow. I seen, uh, I seen uh, videos and photos of uh, some white people. I swear. Um, you know what I'm saying? Kneeling down, older. They was older, like I don't know what they, um, I don't know what they, if this he was. They was touching their they heads, their feet. You know what I'm saying? They like, nation, white people showing it to them, and I was like. Where is this? I've never seen this. That's right. It threw me off. I was like, I don't know what it was about, but it, that's what they were doing. They were like, they, they were treating them like a king, like royalty. Like, oh my God. Like, you know, bro. They were like, none of that. When I saw it, I was like, it's the same type of thing. That's what it made me think about. Like, I know I'm a king. You know what I'm saying? Man, you got to remember, brother. You got something called the Dark Ages, right? All right, when I was in school, they kind of went over, they didn't really do in depth into it, but you got something called the Dark Ages, where our people actually ruled over Europe. We were ruled over Europe, Spain, uh, Russia, we ruled all over that landmass where the so-called white men is in now. We actually ruled there, and once upon a time, it was a subjection unto us. We got different times through our history, believe it or not, where the white man was actually That's right. a subjection unto us. All right, come on, King. Talk about that. Going around, you know, uh, 970 BC when David was ruling, had him in subjection. Around the so-called Dark Ages, from 500 AD to 1500 AD, the white man was in subjection of text. Yeah. You look up again the Dark Ages, the Russian icons. Right. All you gonna see is dark images. Their right. ancestors with rural apparel on, and the so-called white man giving them things, being a servant and. You know, feeding him. And like you said, you see the pictures of a white man bound to him. Yeah, yeah, right. He, so, he, so he might as well be kissing his feet. Right. Like, that's why I was like, I had never seen it. I've never seen it. That's why I was like, huh. And again, brother, like, who are they? You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, and they get that type of thing. I was looking at them like, man, that's how I peep. In my head, I still don't say it. I still don't say it. And you gotta remember, brother, that's who we just said, like, we don't have any amount of people, we just said, the slaves, and you know, that is, that is what it is. You just said from a lineage of right. kings. Right, right. You got the first, uh, what's that, first Peter 2 or verse 7? First Peter 2, verse number 7. You, you come from a lineage of kings and priests. Right, right. High level of rulership. Not everyone can say that. No, I think the white man on Christmas how he is, they getting back from all the years we had them enslaved. But we don't know that we had that type of power on that point. But the Bible it records it and it's letting you know. And that's how you know it's only our book. Right, right. It's all right. We, everything we read is just pertaining <laughs> right. to us. 
I haven't read not one verse and it's pertaining to a Chinese man. At all. And a Chinese man can relate to these words. An Arab man, he can't relate to these words. Right. A white man living in these high skyscrapers and right. these houses, he can't relate to these words. But we can because their ancestors that we just talked about, the ones that was uh, ruling in Europe, ruling in Israel, are the same people that wrote this Bible. King James, believe it or not, he was a so-called black man. And the Stuart family, right. Swarthy. That's right. Swarthy going back to the word of black or dark skinned people. Right. You know? So right. even in his name, you get dark skinned people. Right. Stuart. Right. Knowing right. that history. And Scotland, right? He was also ruling over there. We had kings in Scotland and Ireland. The word Scott means. Check this out two seconds. Two minutes. The word Scott means black, right? The word Ire means black in Ireland, right? That's why they call themselves Scott Ish or Irish. Right. Right. Change it. Right. Exactly. Leak, boy. Yeah, you telling me it's, how it's they a lot, It's a lot of things, but actually, history. Right. They're not teaching you in school. Exactly. They're not teaching you on black history. Right. Not teaching this out the uh, history books that they got. Right. They only exactly. teach you about Alexander the Great. Right. Damn, uh, Christopher Columbus. Right. And them putting you in slavery. Damn. That's it. Right. That's God's chosen people. That's why we went in slavery. Too right. Too cool. Right. Right. We just too cool. Too cool to follow God. Sag is sagging his pants. On the Sabbath day, probably he said, he said, that was my sister. I looked at his sister. Wow. So, yeah, then he marched on his mother. He, and God, God heard that. God got, right. the, God got the angel. He said, you heard that? He said, yeah. He wrote that down. Mm. And he gonna keep that for, you know, when he called him, he was God. Mm. In the shootout, he called him God, God help me. Right. Because he had two seconds. First Peter chapter two verse nine. You know? no, but ye are a chosen generation. The Lord say, but ye are a chosen generation. Average Negro. But ye are a chosen generation. You are a chosen generation. Right. You have, you have many generations. You got yeah. many races. Right. But you're the chosen one. Everyone, right. The most he has chosen has favorites. So the same way we have favorites. We have a favorite shoe, a favorite outfit. God has a favorite right. chosen people. God said, you are a chosen generation. You know? A royal priesthood. What? A, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. Just nothing. A, a royal, royal priesthood. priesthood. A royal priesthood. Royal priesthood. You really royalty, brother. Right. You really supposed to be walking on a horse right now. Right. With your garment on. Right. With a sword on your sheath. Right. With right. ten servants behind you. That's right. right. When they hand them, right? We're not supposed to be walking, right? We're not, we're not supposed to be riding, Come right? Horse. All right, put a crown on your head, a right? Feature on your head, right? Smelling like frankincense and murder, right? Right, in right. The land of Jerusalem, right? right. That's right. that. Remember, we. This I want to put in time. Right. That history got to come back around, but it's not going to start until we keep lost commandments. Right. You know what? And holy nation, a peculiar people, right. that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That's what it looks like when you're being called out of darkness. You're getting caught out this world. I mean, just, just look around, brother. You got all the bright lights. You got the nice cars. Everyone that's walking up and down, they don't know what's going on. The so-called black and Hispanic man don't know he God's chosen people. At all. The white man think he got away with slavery, he gonna got rule away. forever. Right. The so-called East Indian man is in your hoods. Right. Them taking up all your money, right. along with the Arab man. Right. And he in the damn sharks, in the JJ's, in the gas station. Right. Taking up all your money. Everyone think it's all Yo, sweet. King, it's five minutes, man. Cool. Let's check this out real quick. Hey, check this out two seconds, brother. Got a quick burst for you. Real quick. This is First Peter chapter two and verse nine. You know? But ye are a chosen generation. Now, the Lord just said that the so-called black man is a chosen generation. Right. We look at that said about people. Do we look like the chosen generation? We don't. We're at the bottom of society we're in slavery and captivity. So if God said that we're a chosen generation, then how come we're at the bottom of society? You got five minutes, sir. In this time. That's a question. God said we are chosen generation and why are we at the bottom of society? Good question. Great question. Is that something that y'all ever thought of? Never thought of. So according to the Bible, y'all will be God's chosen people. Right. Y'all ever heard about the Jews? Y'all will be the real Jews. Right. 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 The real Jews are so-called black people. Right. Our people. Right. Israelites. 
Yeah. Yeah, look on this sign. Y'all see yourself on this sign? Right. So called race and nationality. Which one? Oh, American black. American black. All race. What about you, brother? You see the so called race. You're not American black. Uh, West Indian nation. So when you feel like a job for it, yeah, I put others every time. Other and I always get the job. Always get the job. That ain't bad. Yeah. Nevertheless, brother. Everyone goes back to a common ancestor. Right. Everyone got a certain <laughs> people. Oh, for sure. We got to fly We got to fly with you. Get the king of fire. Look into it, bro. Look into it, King. Yeah. Tomorrow, three o'clock. That's right. Three thirty, I believe. Oh, three thirty. Three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah. All right, King. Lord willing, King. Be there. God said we're a chosen holy people, but as we see, as a chosen holy people at the bottom of society. Now, you will probably be a so-called black man. My brother, you will be a so-called black man. That's, that's what the world says. So according to the sun, you will be an Israelite from the tribes of Judah. That's right. And you will be a Jew. You will be God's chosen people. As God's chosen people, the holy people, how do you think God wants us to conduct ourselves? This is Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 13. And on the second day, we're gathered together, the chief of the fathers of all the people, the priests and the Levites, unto the Ezra the scribe, even to understand the words of the law. And they found written in the law, which the Lord had commanded by Moses, that the children of Israel should you, dwell in booths in the feast of the seventh month. And that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities. That's not the Bible. Go to Psalms uh, 110, verse number 11. So according to the Bible, keeping God's commandments, that's holy and just and good. That's right. So, brother, before you light up that blunt, did you know that it was actually a sin to smoke it? That's God's chosen people. You didn't know that. You gotta remember, you're a holy vessel. Right. All right, God didn't create you to be just a nigga. Right. That's right, brother. A nigga just walking around with a ski mask. All right, at what time? Is it? 10, 11? Right. God chose you to be a, a holy, set apart, peculiar holy. people. That's right. Right. That right. act that you're doing, brother, that's something that peasants do. Aren't you really a king on the inside? You really a God walking this earth. Right. right. You think a man that's a God is going to conduct himself as something beneath him? No. So you line that up, brother. You're actually doing that sum that's beneath you. You're not even, you know, reaching forth towards your purpose when you do that. Likewise with you, brother, as, as us, as so-called black and Hispanics, we do a lot of things that hold us back as a people. Right. One of the things that's going to stop holding us back is keeping God's commandments. Right. right. Y'all know some of God's commandments? What, what's, what's some commandments? Seven. Seven. You said what? The seven commandments. What's ten commandments? It's ten. Ten, but you have more than ten. Right. You got something called the ten commandments. So you got more than ten. That's right. Now the next brother is gonna edify you on some commandments that you know that y'all probably didn't know about. Believe it or not, it's over eight. It's over uh, six hundred commandments. Right. That the Most High commanded us to keep. In America, you keep over a thousand laws daily. So God has only commanded us to keep six hundred plus commandments. Give me a uh, Guru, chapter 4, verse 28. Give me Sarai, chapter 43. Verse get out, bring it out. So before y'all leave, brother, get a next video. Really come up. We're going to show you how y'all God's chosen people. We're going to go into the history of how you're a holy chosen generation. We're going to give y'all some commandments before y'all fill off. And let y'all, y'all going to remember that, you know, this message that we bring and now everyone can get. It. All right, this, only, this message is only for God's chosen people, the so-called black and Hispanic. That's right. So let's get a Guru, of course, we this is the book of Baruch, chapter 4 and verse 28. Bring it out. For as it was your mind to go astray from God, so being returned, seek him ten times more. The Lord said, Seek him ten times more. Seek him ten times more. Be weary. Seek him ten times more.
For he that brought the plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. And these same plagues, slavery, captivity, all these plagues that was brought upon us, that same God is going to bring us joy right. and everlasting life again with our salvation. Right. Right. That's right. So, so right to the Sirach chapter 43 and verse number 30. Right. When ye glorify the Lord, right. exalt him as much as ye can. Right. For even yet will he far exceed. Right. And when ye exalt him, put forth all your strength. The Lord say, put, put forth, forth all, all your strength. strength. Decrease. Put, put forth, forth all, all your strength. strength. Right. And be not weary, for ye can never go far enough. And the, again, the next brother is about to show you how y'all can never go far enough when it comes to serving your true God, Yahweh, Bashem Yamsha. That's right! Come your shell! Come your shell! Come your shell! Come your shell! Come your shell!